The personal stories, the survivor stories of exactly what happened inside the World Trade Center when that first plane went in, and of course the collapses since then. We're going to bring more of those to you now. Barry Jennings, you're on the eighth floor. You work for the city housing department. Explain to me the moment of impact. Well, me and Mr. Hess, the Corporation Council, were on the 23rd floor. I told them we got to get, get out of here. We started walking down the stairs. We made it to the eighth floor. Big explosion. Blew us back into the eighth floor. And I turned to Hesh, I, I said, this is it, we're dead. We're, we're not gonna make it out of here. I took uh, a fire extinguisher and I bust the window out. That's when this gentleman, this gentleman here heard my cries for help. This gentleman right here, and he said, kept, kept saying, stand by, somebody's coming to get you. They, could, they couldn't get to us for an hour because they couldn't find us. You thought that was it? I thought, I thought we're dead. I thought that was it. I, I started praying to Allah, I said, that's it, we're gone. It's well, over. What was it like for you? You were inside there as well. It was pandemonium. I mean, it was something like out of a... Uh, Bruce Willis Die Hard movie. Uh, he was there and he was crying and there was another gentleman crying and, and for help. We couldn't get to him. We tried to get through the, uh, we, we went through the buildings. We were lost. Both staircases, the backside was completely blown away. There was no way to access us. We couldn't get to him. And finally, uh, one, of the, one of the fire department teams found him. But uh, we, didn't think, we didn't think they were going to make it. Well, certainly you got out. Many others didn't. Of course, we don't have a number right now of fatalities or injuries, but I want to translate a story to you that another man told me. He was near the building. He was on the lobby level, near the shopping area, near the promenade. The elevator doors, he said to me, blew open. And when the doors opened, there was a man on fire inside that elevator. That is the kind of tragedy we are talking about here. And where the World Trade Center once stood here in New York City is no longer at least not like we knew it. These men just embraced. This man is crying. It has been that traumatic. I don't want to, I don't want to cry in the air, man, but I thought that was it. I thought I was dead. I, I'm thinking about my sons, you know, my wife. It's, 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 it's too much. And certainly, he echoes the statements of many others. We were speaking with a couple of officials earlier trying to get information. They said, stand back. We lost a bunch of guys today. It has certainly been a horrible... In fact, let me come around right here as this happens. They're now clearing the area. They're trying to evacuate the area because certainly they don't know what's going to happen next. And you can see in this live picture from the corner of Reed and Church, people are wearing face masks. The, the air is almost unbreathable. And it, it, you can